It's been the richest time of my career because I've been able to do that. Two examples. One was uh, working with Yan Bai Chen, who's a, a theoretical physicist that's been studying fundamental aspects of quantum mechanics and quantum measurement. When I started working on building little nanoscale devices, microscale devices, that could realize some of the physics that Yamba had been working on, I had this great opportunity to, you know, being new to the field, to, you know, go and meet with him and his group on a sort of weekly basis. It tremendously enriched the, the sort of work we were doing. We probably wouldn't have gone off and done certain things if Yamba hadn't been here. The second example is happening right now. I'm very excited about ideas that uh, Alexei has and John uh, has on quantum field theories at you know, at the horizon of a black hole, uh, where you have very, very strongly coupled fields, so non-perturbative quantum fields, um, and they have some ideas about how that could be realized in, uh, you know, in some synthetic condensed matter system, or my hope is in some of the, uh, you know, electrical systems, superconducting quantum circuits that we're trying to build. The beauty is that there's this vision that the theorists have sort of carved out. I'm close enough to the action that as an experimentalist I can go in and and start to pursue that. It gives me a huge head start on everyone else and a great advantage compared to other research teams around the world that might be you know, interested in doing similar things.